Cognito has it warning. Access to SCP-4065 documentation requires specialized counter-memetic inoculation. Individuals without appropriate inoculation will be unable to perceive this file. Inoculated personnel should view the image below. Countermemetic inoculation verified. Security level 4. Item number SCP-4065. Object class Keter. Special containment procedures. SCP-4065 is currently uncontained. Research into developing a counter meme is ongoing. SCP-4065-3 instances are to be erased or deleted whenever possible. SCP-4065-3 has been deleted from files requiring Level 2 General, Level 3 Autokinetic, and or Level 4 Memetic Clearance to edit. Although these changes are frequently referred to by infected personnel, information about SCP-4065 is restricted to SCP-4065 resistant individuals via selective perception counter memes or anomalies whose containment procedures rely on the use of SCP-4065-1 are major breach risks. However, many of these anomalies have been infected with SCP-4065 and as such are partially self-containing. Alternate containment procedures for these anomalies are to be developed and enacted as soon as possible. Description SCP-4065 is an anomalous memetic contagion that currently affects almost all Foundation personnel. Affected individuals believed in the existence and efficacy of a piece of technology identified as a Scranton Reality Anchor, SCP-4065-1, a device apparently intended to protect against autokinetic threats. SCP-4065-1 instances apparently protect against these threats by stabilizing the Hume field, an objective measure of the thickness of reality that can be detected by devices known as camp counters. SCP-4065-2 SCP-4065 was created by Dr. Susan Scranton, for whom SCP-4065-1 is named as an experimental containment method for sapient autokinetic anomalies. While it was largely successful in its original purpose, the parameters for infection were not well defined and it was quickly transmitted to Foundation personnel. SCP-4065-1 and 2 instances are created by infected individuals from available materials. SCP-4065-1 instances tend to be constructed from laboratory equipment, kitchen appliances, and desktop computers, while SCP-4065-2 instances tend to be constructed from smaller devices, such as pocket calculators and mobile phones. These devices usually have a number of buttons, switches, LEDs, and dials that function as a control panel. SCP-4065-2 instances always have at least one prominent antenna or receiver dish. In addition to the electronic components, SCP-4065-1 and 2 instances occasionally contain more exotic materials, including large quartz crystals, radiation sources, and human remains. All documented SCP-4065-1 and 2 instances have been painted or otherwise marked with SCP-4065-3. SCP-4065-3 is a mimetic trigger seagull, originally devised by Dr. Susan Scranton, which acts as the primary factor for SCP-4065 infection. When an individual who has moderate knowledge of the Foundation's existence, purpose, and ideology, note, all Foundation personnel and most sapient anomalies in Foundation containment fulfill these criteria. It is likely that members of most major groups of interest 
are also susceptible to SCP-4065 infection. Although this is currently unconfirmed, sees SCP-4065-3, they begin to show symptoms of SCP-4065 infection within 48 hours. Individuals who have worked directly with ontokinetic anomalies or have ontokinetic abilities themselves show symptoms within 8 hours. A secondary component of the SCP-4065 meme complex is the idea that SCP-4065-3 is the primary logo or seal of the Foundation. As a result, SCP-4065-3 is now widely used by Foundation personnel as an identifying emblem, and variations have been adapted for use by all Foundation departments. There is currently no known counter meme for SCP-4065 infection. It is currently hypothesized that immunity to SCP-4065 requires full knowledge of its creation and the memes that compose it. The only individual who fulfills these criteria is the creator, Dr. Susan Scranton.